have another Ghost Files. This is the Grim Gallows of the Whaley House. Let's check it out. Oh, Whaley House? Guess who's back? I mean, it does look incredibly erotic. Come on, Jim, squeeze me! Are you moving around? Is somebody moving around in this house? Whee! <laughs> oh, shit. This is gonna be interesting. I think it's episode five Henry, now. And I have some evidence for the Whaley house. Hi, my name is Megan, and fun. I have evidence from the Whaley house. I suddenly felt like somebody was watching like a full body effort. Her hair was standing up on my heart. A stick figure is still up on the edge of the shape on the right hand side. I find this unexplained shape. Can you guys investigate? Welcome to Ghost Files, where we take your evidence and our tools into the field to expose the supernatural. My partner, a skeptic. Myself, <laughs> Man, a believer. Both of us, okay. truth seekers. Right. This week, our team <laughs> travels to San Diego, Starting California to investigate the Whaley House Museum. Well, well, well. If it isn't the old Whaley House. Our old nemesis back when we were just young amateurs. Still looks gorgeous, I'll tell you that. It does look beautiful. Nice, uh, lovely red brick building. I love red brick buildings. Did okay. you know that? I, so. I guess I never knew that about like you. Nice I'm not going to like this one, I feel like. I didn't <laughs> like it last time, and I won't like it this time. Shall we? Let's get in there. Oh, Whaley House. Guess who's back? It's the fucking guys, baby. <laughs> no, Come that's on. not right. It's daddy. The Whaley Dad. House Museum was originally built in 1857 as home of the Whaley family. Built as a luxurious mansion, it quickly became an integral part of the community, serving as a school, a polling place, a bilingual general store, San Diego's first commercial theater, and even a courtroom. Is that so? Well, wait, I didn't realize that. So right. all at once, yeah, they were- You'll see it. Stuff. There's a theater room upstairs, and downstairs is the active courtroom. Well, oh, I'll see it, because I've seen it. I, you don't have to- Well, clearly you don't remember me. anything, because- Well, I thought I just, maybe, though, that they were like, OK, this is the courtroom, uh, but let's turn it into some it. vaudeville action, you know? I'm just saying if there's a building that has a courtroom and an actual theater, as well as a general store, and you're like, wait, so this one replaced that. You can't, if you can't remember that, and you, you get what I'm getting at, right? It's a pretty memorable thing, I feel like. Right. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm? Your brain's ruined, man. <laughs> Unless, like, the I ghost ghost fog memory, Too many so hunts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> memory blasted him, like, some men in black stuff. The ghost just wiped his shit. <laughs> too many hunts. But its main purpose was home to the tragedy-marred Whaley family, four of whom would die in the house. But beyond being a historic landmark, it's also widely regarded as the most haunted house in America. Many believe it's due to the land's history as a cemetery and use for public executions, including one of the home's infamous ghosts, Yankee Jim Robinson. I'd like to clarify for the viewers, uh, sure, we've been here before, but last time we went there, we were novices. You're right, we were novices. What are we bringing in this time? Now they're experts. Okay, we got <laughs> thunder bring and lightning. We're bringing those. Uh, a lot more tools. I don't think we had any tools last time. That's true. We had. Yeah, well, we had these tools. <laughs> we are the uh, but, internet's tool. But we, uh, you, will. you know, you didn't have your little spirit box. I didn't have my spirit box. You I didn't, didn't have my SLS. Your little SLS. Your little REM pod. Your I didn't, have, REM pod. Like I didn't have a. I, I mean, I didn't themselves. really have any tools. No. The two-story Greek Just Revival House <laughs> sits in Old Town, San Diego, and was designed by Thomas Man, Whaley himself. It was considered to be a beautiful mansion at the time, despite its smaller stature by today's standards. Consisting of a 3,680 square foot area, we'll start our investigation on the first floor in the parlor, believed to be the most active room in the house. It's where Thomas and Anna Whaley have been spotted and the area where Yankee Jim was hanged before the home was erected on the ground. We've placed cameras and audio recorders in two of the most active parts of the building in hopes that we catch activity throughout the night. One in the aforementioned parlor, and the second in the first floor courtroom, which is said to be a portal. And finally, to end the investigation, Shane and I will each be forced to explore the entire building one at a time, Excellent. because danger is my middle name. I remember it like the back of my hand. Well, clearly not, because you forgot that there was a courthouse. A <laughs> 
a courthouse, <laughs> no, a theater, to... and a general store. No, listen to me, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm just saying that if you think, no, oh, I up. know this building like the back shut of Shut up! Hand. Anyway, I'm excited to go here. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. It's kind of weird. Man's like, yeah, I'm ex I, I remember this place, but doesn't remember any of the place. <laughs> Members, what do you want from me? I'm going outside, on your little maybe. trip, okay? The truth. It's not a to little a place trip. we've already been. Yeah, to find more ghosts. Yeah. Because for some reason, I need to find more ghosts. Because even though I've found plenty of ghosts, no, you haven't. Two of which have been caught on camera that you Bo saw. Ooh, with those they stink. Two little beady eyes, and you Stinkers. still what you Wait, can't see. Two little beady eyes. That's right. Oh, I'm the, I'm the beady eyes. Yeah. Uh, I pointed right at them. I see. Uh, I thought you were saying you saw two beady eyes floating in the darkness. In which case, I do every hunt. Congrats to you. Yours. They're high up. You son of a kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the first room we're investigating is believed to be the most active, the parlor. The ghost of Anna Whaley has been seen in the parlor wearing a green dress, sipping tea, as well as possibly Thomas Whaley, dressing up for the occasional sighting with a top hat and a coat. As mentioned before, the land the house was built on was said to not only play home to a cemetery, but more horrifically, the original Old Town Gallows, where many were hanged including one of the home's more infamous ghosts, Yankee Jim Robinson, who even the Whaley family themselves suspected haunted their home. The arch in the parlor is believed to be the exact spot where Yankee Jim was hanged for allegedly stealing a boat. This spot is also where I myself heard a whisper on our past investigation here. Back then, I sat right here and nearly shit myself in a chair. And that would have cost a lot of money, so I'm glad you didn't. That's true. I guess technically you're always shitting yourself in a chair if you count a toilet. Anyways, this is the spot right here. This is the spot and where the arch. And what did you well, This is where the hangings would have occurred. And what did you hear when you were here alone? I heard a, a little whisper. And did it say anything in particular, or was it just? It was just more like a, a breath to let me know, "Hey, I'm right behind you." The infamous whisper. What did it say? You're gonna be a real good ghost hunter one day. No, it wasn't that mm -hmm. long. It was oh. more like a. <laughs> it wasn't it's like, it's like it was like a <laughs> it was a little monkey what if this time I pick up instead of <sighs> I pick up <sighs> two haws <laughs> and it's just a ghost laughing at me so like and the third time shit. I come back it's <sighs> and then when you're elderly yeah. you'll go there for your 65th time or whatever yeah. it's like <laughs> then that would sound like Yankee Jim's doing something else <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, so that's why they call me Yankee Jim. <laughs> hey, you. So, Yankee. you could show us a sign that you're in here. That would be fantastic. And that could be moving something. That could be touching one of us. You could uh, tickle shit. I wish they would show the footage of the, the past hunt. I wonder if they can't because it's like BuzzFeed show. But whenever they go to like the remake places, I wish they would show the footage they're talking about. I know it's a little high up, probably for you because you're I'm smaller. I'm right now. He's doing that for you. He worked out for months like just to be able to do this move for longer than 10 seconds. It's his world record. So right there is a, a uh, little device under this archway. If you walk towards the archway like this, that'll signify yes. And we'll be able to see it on this thing. The REM pod creates its own circular electromagnetic field and will alarm when anything penetrates that field. The more colors on the alarm, the more significant the intrusion. The REM pod also detects temperature fluctuations. With that in mind, if there's somebody here with us right now, can you walk towards that archway? Or if you're already under the archway. Oh. Okay, interesting. Uh, Yankee Jim, if you're in the room, could you walk towards the archway? <coughs> Or anybody that might dwell inside this room, can you walk towards that archway? Do you like that people come into this house? Do you not like that people come into this house? Oh. That's the temperature going up. Temperature going so, up. So you don't like that people come into this house? Is it us in particular that you don't like? Well, that's kind of comforting. We usually are the reason. That's yeah, true. They like we're it. known for clearing out the room, as they say. They like them. Anyways, we're going to head out of here. Do you like that? Do you like us leaving you alone? Is that it? We are a mystery. The silent man. Okay. All right. Well. Oh. 
Is that just because of you walking toward it? I mean, last time you had to be pretty close. Yeah. But it's really... Do you not want me to come over there? Well, now he's not going back. I don't know. Oh. I don't understand this machine. Okay. That's kind of weird. The temperature went flying. Huh. Huh. Well, it's going to be fun being here alone later. But oh, you're going to hate it. <laughs> what does that mean? Our next room is the courtroom, which actually saw legal proceedings. Proof that jury duty will even find you in death, a woman is sometimes seen sitting in the back corner. This corner is also claimed to be a spiritual vortex by paranormal investigators. You claim that this is a spiritual vortex. That's right. Tell me more about that. Is that sort of like a poltergeist house situation where it eventually one day will implode? I can't take you. You look like me. Like if you were to show a picture. I look like the one who should believe exactly. in ghosts. Exactly. If you were to show a picture of the two of us to any normal person, be like, which one of these two nut jobs believes in ghosts? 1,000% it's Steve Jobs I'm meets Lucius Malfoy. Clearly this, this fucking yeah, probably guy. Took the guy in the <laughs> it's unbelievable. I myself <laughs> felt a shiver up my little spine while sitting on the back corner on our past investigation. Let's see if this court is still in session. Back in the courtroom. Oh, the reported the sight of the portal. Do you remember this room? I remember that. You sat over there, you, you cried like a little baby. I don't think that part happened. That seems to be a little bit of an embellishment. Hello. You may remember us from the parlor or from several years ago. That's right. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> and better than ever. Now, uh, this actually was an active courtroom back in the day. Yeah, you can tell because it looks like a courtroom. Well, I mean, there's sometimes things are dressed up as a courtroom and perhaps they're like a set or something like that. Yes, I'm aware that this is not a movie set. Right. I'm just saying, you know. The last time, you felt a little... I did feel a little something. A little tug over there. I didn't feel a tug I thought you got a, a little tug over there. there. I think that was post-shoot. Hey, Anyways. Look at you over there in the corner. Bro, I'd be a bad little guy. <laughs> just gonna close my <laughs> eyes. Do you want me to not shine the light on you? Is yeah, maybe. A little distracting? maybe. It's a little distracting. I'm trying, okay. to, I'm trying to tap in right now. Hold on. Sure I'm blind in the mess. You know... No feelings of queasiness this time around. For now, let's set up a mag light right here on this chair and we'll see what we get. We've now placed a mag light over in uh, the corner that's said to be a vortex. Is that the tippy tippy So way? if there's anything in here with us, you do, the little tip -tip. do us a favor. We got a chatty one tonight. Jump in the gun. I'm gonna need whoever is in here to really listen to my instructions for me to see if there's actually somebody in here. If there's any members of the Whaley family, with us in this courtroom, please turn on that mag light. Okay. If you're a member of the jury and you, you know, choked on a walnut or something while you were serving your, your, uh, oh. <laughs> walnut eater. There's said to be a, a woman who sits in this corner in particular in this room. I'm now speaking to you. Can you turn on that light? to acknowledge that you're here? Ma'am? Miss? Darling? That's kind of sounded. Lady? Lady. Hey, lady. Lady. Corner lady. Can you turn on the light, corner lady? At this moment, our audio recorder picks up this voice. Can you turn on the light, corner lady? Do you have a name? Turn it up, turn it up. At this moment, our audio recorder picks up this voice. You turn on the light, part way. Oh, Jesus. Do you. Ooh, I kind of heard it. I heard something. Kind of, kind of sketchy. Oh, man, I should have blasted my. Do you have a name? Is it Anna? Is it Violet? Selena? Oh. Selena. <laughs> There's no Selena Whaley. No, but it could be a lady, you know, that's a popular name. Are you Selena, the famed pop artist? Well, I don't think it's her. If you're Selena, the famous pop artist, turn off the light. That would be an interesting just a contact. Regular, to just a regular the Selena. Acid. There's plenty that's of huge. Selena. That's true. Gomez. Selena Gomez. She's still alive as far as I know, though. Yeah, the, yes. Uh, the light agrees. Well, maybe she's not. No, no, that would be... A horrible way to, to break that news. 
Did you catch that voice too? Yeah. Here it is again. If there's anybody who was wrongfully accused and wrongfully executed, can you turn on that light right? Ah, you son of a bitch. Sure. Of course. Well, the legal system had its flaws back in the day. I'm sure they moved a lot of people through here unjustly. You know what? Let's move on to a different method here. So let's do the Estes Spirit Box. This is where, of course, I put on noise-canceling headphones on your big old head. Yeah. And I plug that directly into the Spirit Box, and you just say anything you hear. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm going to be asking questions and using you as a conduit. And you can't hear my questions, so whatever you're saying, if it makes sense, that's pretty cool. I am the antenna. You are the antenna, and the biggest am, one I've ever seen. I am the megaphone of the dead. <laughs> You're a douche phone. So he can't hear me right Hopefully now. Hopefully I get another fight. Hey, Shane. This time it'd be Ryan's. You're an idiot. Oh. My name is Ryan, so if there's anything in this room, can you send my name back to me? Can you tell me your name? Changing. Changing is Respond. Not Okay, what do you want me to change the question and then you'll respond to how about this? Uh, snake tester. Snake tester? <laughs> uh, is that why you were in here? Did you do something weird with snakes? Is that something you're into? Why are you in this courtroom? Afraid. Are you, you're afraid that Horses. you're in this courtroom? Are you like some sort of animal fetish kind of guy? Snakes are afraid is of that horses. why you're in here? I'm not sure if bestiality Juicy. was a crime. Puzzle. Juicy, okay, juicy horses sister. and snakes. You're into some weird juicy things, pal. Sisters. If you're talking about snakes, horses, and your sister, those are three things snakes that I feel like could be far from each other. Por favor. You're going to need to start making, uh, making a little the bit more sense because none of these things are related. Murder. Murder. There's Wait, no what? murder in here. Wait, what? Wait, how did the ghost sneak in Spanish? Making, uh, making a little bit more sense because none of these things are related. Murder. Horses and your sister. Those are three things that I feel like couldn't be farther from each other. Por favor. <laughs> Por favor. You're going to need to start making, uh, making a little bit more sense because none of these things are related. Murder. Murder. There was no murder in this place as far as I know. Unless you, of course, count Yankee Jim. Yankee Jim, is this you? Jelly. What are you jealous of? Now. Oh, or maybe you want jelly right now, like jelly a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? <laughs> Do you D's. Like D's. Are you trying to get me to say D's nuts? D's, D's what? <laughs> D's tomato. <who? laughs> tomato. Big lung. Big, Big lung? Nude. No, I'm not, okay, I'm not getting, I'm, I'm gonna leave now. You need, you need some help? Purple. You're a sick person. It's kind of a Take wild. The, September. Rain. Take, take the headphones off. Take thief. Kind of weird. I expected it to be like a like last time, somewhat like co comprehensible, comprehensible. You know, like like I could understand what's going on. But now it's just random words. You could see me. You can't. <laughs> I, I didn't want to leave. <laughs> it's fun being in that world. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, none of the things you said made any sense. Not a one of them. I mean, there was a part where you might have insinuated that a person is into a, having intercourse with snakes, horses, and his sister, but, you know. Oh. Ain't nothing wrong no, with not that. No, not at all. Ain't nothing wrong Later with that, brother. Night, an audio recorder that. left in this room picked up this voice when nobody was there. As mentioned before, Thomas Whaley himself suspected that his home was haunted by the ill-fated Yankee Jim. Whaley would report heavy footsteps often coming up and down the stairs that he attributed to Jim. Members of the family reported seeing imprints of his footsteps as well as Jim causing a tightening in their chest or throat and cold spots throughout the home. Speaking of Thomas Whaley, he's also reportedly seen on the landing of these stairs. Perhaps he's a ghost hunting a ghost. So we actually set up a REM pod on the stairwell because they often heard footsteps going up and down this stairwell. Oh. Whoa. That's the temperature going up. Sure again. Wow, it's really spiking. Yo, the, the house is That's a hot stairwell. Like, off or something. Is there somebody upstairs on that landing that could walk towards us? Any members of the Whaley family sleeping right now? Could you come downstairs? 
Anybody up there? Who's that? I don't know. Somebody want to meet me in the middle of the stairs? I'm going to walk up the stairs. If you could walk down the stairs, we could be in the middle. How about that? See? Just like that. Actually, what if I wait up here, Shane, and you wait down there? OK, we can do that. That sounds fun. Ooh, I really don't like this. Could do something. Well, deal with it. <laughs> OK. My back is to the, um, the stairs here. You could push him very easily. You could very easily push me down these stairs if that's something you're into. If you get him at the right angle, that little antenna on the REM pod could impale him. That'd be funny. Be quiet. Jeez. Hey, oh. Are you moving around? Is somebody moving around in this house? Me? What do you hear up there? Sounds like somebody's moving. You got wild eyes. Dude, it's, oh my god, all the hair is standing up. Is there a rocking chair up here? Can you come up here? I'm not investigating this on myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing it squeaking. It sounds like someone's rocking back and forth in a chair or on a bed. I love that. What do we got? Oh my God, there is a rocking chair up here. Oh my goodness. Oh, and a, 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 a little lady. Or a baby doll. Maybe it was her. Okay, wait, let's, let's be very still. Everyone stop, stop moving, there. yeah. That's the REM pod going off on the stairs. Crazy with the temperature. Something messing with us right now? Is there somebody moving around this house? You could show yourself, we don't mean any harm. I know you might be scared. I am too. Well, this room would have seen a lot of action. It's not unheard of for there to be. Did you whisper? Oh, oh okay. Jesus, I'm fucking <laughs> losing my mind now. <laughs> you know, I've always been curious of this. And what? I carry it with me on every investigation. Is it a knife? A yeah. ghost knife? Well, I was just going to take out my Glock. OK. <laughs> uh, this is actually just a standard issue compass. A normal compass can be used to detect irregularities in electromagnetic fields, which spirits are said to be able to manipulate. Wait, they're whipping up the compass. Oh, really impressive. I didn't uh, do that one more time, just so I can it's see that. pretty good, that's right? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time. It didn't have the snap. It didn't have a snap. On, one, one more, more time. time. Nice. Well, is I know which way north is. One? Yeah, I guess. This is a regular one, right? It's not just some, like a spiritual compass. E, like a Your magnetic EMF, field. EMF compass. It just says compass. Okay, cool. I've never you seen catch somebody oh, used never seen It's highly possible, possible that they don't like it to make noise when we're up the stairs. Did I go yeah, too far? Absolutely. We'd be screaming. You'd fall down the stairs. I'd, I'd, fall I'd walk down the stairs. You know what's. I went too far. To manipulate. Just start here, whatever. Oh, really impressive. I didn't uh, do that one more time just so I can it's see pretty that. Pretty good, cool. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time. It didn't have the snap. It didn't have a snap. One, one, one more, more time. time. Nice. Well, I know which way north is. Yeah, I guess that's probably why you don't that's whip that thing out too often, huh? Because if this thing started going topsy turvy, oh, this whole investigation would go tits up. Man. Yeah, I, absolutely. We'd be screaming. Yeah, be You'd fall down the stairs. I'd, I'd, the I'd walk down the stairs. You know, it's highly possible that. They don't like it to make noise when we're up there. Whoa! What are you getting? Did, did you catch that? No, sorry. The arrow just started going, woo! compass is going crazy. When I was holding it still, oh, it's crazy. oh, no, it's not doing it anymore. That was cool. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get that. Well, that's very unfortunate, Shane. Yeah, I apologize. <laughs> Our next investigation takes us up to the second floor, the nursery room. Really where visitors often hear cries and giggles of a baby, believed to be the ghost of Thomas Jr., who died inside the house at only 18 months old from scarlet fever. Some have claimed to hear small footsteps believed to be from a child or a toddler. It is also the place where Megan Satello captured this piece of evidence. Okay, it's heavy. All right. I was in one of the upstairs bedrooms and I took out my phone to take a few photos. In one of the photos, I could tell immediately there was a shape on the right-hand side. In the nursery, she took a picture. Like she caught what appears to be hair in the right side of frame, something that wasn't right. there. What do you think about this? You know, it's a photo of some hair. But if the hair wasn't there. If you're telling me that there's nothing there and they got a photo of some hair, then what's the ghost doing exactly? Is it just like... I will say that that doesn't really look like Thomas Jr. unless he had a 
wonderful mane of hair at 18 mm. months. So babies have hair at 18 months. That kind of kiss hair? What do you mean? That could like be the top of his head. Mane. Looks like Gene <laughs> Simmons. What the fuck are you talking about? No, it about, doesn't. Dude? It just looks like a little. Look little at the mane, fucking, dude. Uh, There's a mane. It that's a mane. From yes, from down to there. Maybe to there. you, but not to me. Holy <laughs> shit! So here we are outside the nursery. This is where we received the photo from Meg. Mm -hmm. And she actually captured a photo, if you remember, right here towards the mirror, and there was hair in it. Now seeing that you can't even go in there. Makes a lot of sense It's now. even crazier that she captured the hair. And it wouldn't be the hair of that funny little doll because that appears to be made out of porcelain. No, that's a porcelain. And it was quite crispy. Right, here we go. Wait, that's even, <laughs> yeah, wait, they're right. That's kind of weirder then. She didn't even go in the room. You're only allowed to be right here. And she got hair. Whoa, that's kind of weird. But unlike Megan, we are fortunate to be able to go inside. Oh, I just want to make sure if you take one here in my, uh, you know, on oh, my Jesus head's Christ. here. I just want to move your move your body so that the hair is more, because I could see your body. Yeah, someone could have been standing there. Like be... that. How's that look? Let's see. Kind of like. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be. It could be. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. But I don't see why anyone might be standing Yeah, why would someone, that would be someone bleeding <laughs> they saw so a, a spider. And once again, this is not something that people normally can do. So, unless it's set up, could adding set further up. credence to that photo. And boy, is it well, tiny. So people are not allowed in here. No, that's why I was saying the so photo capturing hair is interesting. Uh, it's a small room. It is. It's a small room full of dolls. Oof. Now, this is Anna O'Quayley's. What was that? Is that somebody moving? What was that? So many small noises. Oh, no. <laughs> that Ryan's Where was face. it? Did it sound like from Man, downstairs, it right? It sounded like it was from He's downstairs. Stressed. Holy. It is pretty spooky. Hello? There's so many little noises in here. The party's up here. If you want to come up here, we're in the middle of investigating the, uh, the nursery. So stop piss farting around downstairs and come up here. I didn't mean that, that sounded mean. Please don't hurt me later. You okay. Can, you can if you want. You can take it. I can't. All right, time to bring out a fan favorite, the Ovulus, baby. I like this. The Ovulus takes environmental readings that spirits are said to manipulate, such as temperature or electromagnetic fields, like and converts them into corresponding words or phonetic sounds. Can you name anything in this room? There's a good one to name. Well, Nine, friend. Page. Uh huh. Well, there's got to be a book in here. Oh, hey, Paige, Ryan, a book. I guess ghosts are real. Well, there actually is a picture of somebody on this page. Oh, maybe they're communicating. Is this you in the book? Is this you on the page? Okay. Ooh. Getting a little preachy. Anything on that page about the rapture? No, it's about smallpox. If you had to describe me in one word, what would it be? I'm gonna wait this one out. This is gonna be worth it. I don't think they're gonna, they wanna answer your question. How about this? If you wanted to describe me in one word, what would you say? Well, that's not very nice Go to on. ignore somebody this like that. Ain't saying nothing. History. Drunk history. Well, it's not that show. I'm reaching out to Anna Whaley <laughs> right now. Show. Can you tell me what happened to you, your son in this room? If you're okay with talking about it. It's a good show though. I haven't seen that in a minute. Trump history. Radio silence and that. Well, it's a sensitive subject. That's true. Well, hey, we come to you with the utmost sincerity. Is Tell us about your family and what happened in this room. Slay. Rip. Well, I don't like that. No. <laughs> Did someone die in this room? Yes. The baby right there. Hello. The yep. That's okay. a yes. All that's right. A yes to well, that. we're okay, going to get well, your like hair that. here. Uh, uh, thanks for uh, chit chatting with us. Sitting right next to the nursery room is the theater room. This theater was San Diego's first commercial theater, reportedly capable of accommodating up to 150 guests. The space has seen multitudes of people over the years. It was once rented to a local theater troupe, performing a variety of entertainment from dancing, drama, comedy, and music. Vaudeville music has been reportedly heard coming from this room. You look like the kind of guy that would be in the vaudeville music. Could you explain to the audience what that is? <laughs> I, I honestly don't know what that is. <laughs> I assume it's like uh, 
I guess I imagined like one of those old timey pianos where the guy playing it looks like he's on cocaine. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, like ragtime. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you could have some violin like. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Let's do that together. <laughs> All right, now we're walking into the theater. This is actually said to be one of the most active rooms in the house, probably because there was so much human alive activity in here. And people are often touched and poked on the back of this stage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit back there yeah. in the dark and we're gonna leave the REM pod out here where the audience would be. Yeah, that's a good idea. I said it could fit 150 people. What's happening right now? It's, uh, it it's uh, like it. It giving us a little Maybe applause. A lot of activity on nope. that. Okay, well, so you've seen us all night. Shane and Ryan coming to have a good old time in here, just trying to make some contact, make some friends. Now, if anybody inside this theater, and this could be anybody, anybody who's had a fun time in this house, or the Whaley's themselves, if you'd like to make contact with us, please do so now. If the motion picture Casper has taught me anything, you can actually put your finger sort Casper. of inside of us and give it a little wiggle and it'll make us feel funny. I don't think that's true, but you know, let's go with it. It happened in the film. Well, that's a movie. Yeah, it's about as it happens Scientific in the movie, it can happen in real life. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, just because you start to fade okay, yourself out doesn't mean I can't hear you. I can hear what you're saying. So. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna close our eyes and we're just gonna sit here and the floor is yours and I'm talking to anybody in this house. All right, here we go. I am open, I am a vessel, I am a receptacle. Feel anything? No, but I am seeing that the REM pod's going up in temperature right now. Oh, it's little, we got little beep beeps. You guys like that in the audience? You like what you're seeing? It's been doing Getting that like all day. I hear Yankee Jim likes hanging out in this back corner. Jim, are you here with us right now? Jim, make some noise. James? Uh, Is no. that a yes for you? Is that you, Yankee? Jim? Can you step away from the pod, please? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Got now it said that vaudeville music is actually heard here. Can we hear some of that? Yeah, just really belt it out. We'd love to see a show. Vaudeville music, you know how that goes, the piano. Did a wonderful duet, sort of a They like that? Oh, stop, stop. Hmm? What? So back there? Wrestling? Wrestling. Wrestling. Now, now, we'd love to see a show. That's right, we're paying customers, well, we're not paying. I paid $2 to come into this show. That's a lot of money back then. Oh dear. Oh. All right, I like what I'm seeing. Move that chair. You move the chair? Move the chair. <laughs> Go on, move the chair. Went from the stand beside Do it. it to move it. Don't, don't back talk us. Oh, no, no, yes, 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 come on. Whoa. Okay, oh, now this whoa, is a whoa. show. This is crazy. I'm lights liking what I'm seeing. The Bra dancing. Bravo! Yeah! Yeah, come Very on good. now. Very oh, good. that's incredible. Wow, we Encore. <laughs> Encore! 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 Hey, oh, oh, yeah! 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 That's a show, folks! The red. Oh, beautiful. No more? Just silence now, huh? Yes, we'd love to see more flashing lights. Come on. Okay, oh. okay. Oh. Oh. The Pulling out all good. the tricks on this one. Okay, if there's somebody on that stage right now. So that, like, yes, if there's somebody on. Too much. Beep, 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 beep. It's almost like Morse code. If, if we translated this, what if this is perfect Morse code? Turn that, oh, I just felt a gust. Gus. 
If there's somebody on that stage right now, Without Gus? St sit on that chair. Read us that book. Do a backflip. Okay, well, that's it. How hard is it? They could do backflips. I feel like reading a book, going you don't to think they doing a backflip is, is a little bit of a jump. Well, no pun intended. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to head out of here. That was a good show. I actually thought that was well worth the money. Yeah. Uh, I'm not uh, when I come up here later, I better see some backflips. Okay, well, I don't know what your obsession I mean, suddenly is with backflips. It would be cool if a ghost suddenly appeared doing a backflip and did, did, like straight toward you. The ghost agrees. Hey, look, if you think that's a good idea, then show us the backflip. No, it's gonna appear suddenly starting to do a backflip and it'll disappear right as the leg is about to kick your face. It's doing a gainer? A what? A gainer is when you move forward while doing a backflip. Is that what you're gonna do later? You're gonna gainer us? Do a backflip. That sounds insane. All right, we're gonna leave. Moving Fine. Forward <laughs> while doing a backflip. No backflip, backflip no boys. No. Oh, <laughs> it's, what, oh. Look, what do you want from us? I, I don't understand. It's is like, I can do it. Look, just, just, just give me a second. I needed to work with the nerve. I bet they got to practice. Got it, so we're, we're going to we're gonna leave. You can practice your backflips. That's a good call. And then we'll When come we get back. back here later, we better see him. The next location is the older kids' room. It is known to be Violet Whaley's room, a.k.a. the Sorrowful Room. Violet had married a con man who reportedly, after discovering he lacked access to the Whaley family fortune, snuck away into the night during their honeymoon. Grief-stricken and abandoned, Violet tragically took her own life in this room via gunshot. Consequently, visitors have seen Violet's apparition in this room. In fact, visitor Meg Henry believes she may have captured exactly that. I was on the first floor of the Whaley house, and I had just learned how Violet had committed suicide. She had died just feet from where we were standing. And I remember feeling really emotionally affected by that. So when we got up onto the second floor, I stood outside of her room and I just remember feeling this great overwhelming feeling of sadness. Like it wasn't even mine. Like she was in the room or something. And so I took the photo. And if you look in the left hand corner of the photograph, you'll see what looks like a full body apparition. So Maid claims she captures the apparition of Violet Whaley on the left side of On the left. Eh. I'm not seeing this one today, boys. Apparition of Violet Whaley I'm on the seeing, left. like some light. It's like the light glistening from the window. I'm not seeing so Maid claims she captures the apparition of Violet Whaley on the left well, side I'm of frame. It's possibly Violet in a blue dress with white lace on the bottom, and you could kind of maybe see arms going towards like the bedpost. Very interesting. People gotta take better pictures. That's if you nice. want a clearer picture, then a clearer picture you'll get. Let's get it ourselves. Let's get it. Okay, now we're entering Please. Violet's room. This is where people usually see her, and this is in fact where Meg caught a picture of Violet that we're gonna recreate right now. Maybe we need to be in it, because then it's like, you know, they're like, ooh, better haunt that photo. <laughs> Fresh meat. Yeah. Better haunt that photo. Especially with that meat. Show me that meat. Hey, don't, don't say that while you take a photo. <laughs> Show me that meat. Here he is on the ground with his little toys. They're not toys. No, oh, I know. You just look like a four-year-old playing with your little toys right now. What else you got in there? Some peanut M&Ms. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okja. My name is Ryan. Yo, that's it, Ryan. That's it. You did. I'm not joking you here. After you said my name's Ryan, did you not hear Violet? I did not actually hear that. I thought I heard Rewind Violet. the tapes. My name is Ryan. Who are we talking to? Who's here? I heard hi. Hello. Did you say hello? Who is this? Who are we speaking to right now? Are we speaking to Violet Whaley? How about, can you tell me what happened to Violet Whaley? Sorry, can you say that again? I'm gonna ask that again. Can you tell me what happened to Violet Whaley in here? Not a lot of activity here. Like is there a reason why you're so quiet right now? Can't understand. Do you want to be left alone? Nothing but static. If 
you want us to leave, say so. It's getting quieter. Are you ignoring us? Why is it fading to nothing? What? What in the world? Did you just turn down the, the spirit box? <laughs> it's the most I've ever believed in a ghost. Just, just knowing that they hate that as much as I do. This thing sucks. Turn just it imagining off. Imagining like an undead person just walking in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's walking out. After a while. You could use this to communicate with us. Maybe you've been trying to to all the people who walk through here. Now is your chance. If you have something to say, I would say it now. Is there something you want to tell us? Here, all right, hang on. Hang on to what? I'll wait. Just take your time. Is there something you want me to tell me about this room? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. They don't like this radio, and I don't blame them. And there's no need to be snippy about it. Is that you? Is that you, Thomas? You sound like a man's voice. Jesus! You sound like a baby. If you want us to leave, tell us to go. We'll go. Shit, bug it. Okay. As you wish. I'll say that's never happened with the honey tone. We've been using it for several episodes now. It's never just quietly turned itself off. That was very strange. Strange. Very strange. The master bedroom sits on the second floor across the nursery room, where Yankee Jim is often seen. Now this is a genuine skeleton key that the Whaley's use to unlock every door in the house. We've used trigger objects in the past. Yeah. But they haven't been an actual artifact. They've been something that this looks is, like this it. Has this has a lot of, that feels like a it's legitimate key. This is likely where Thomas and Anna Whaley would have slept, and possibly where Anna may have died since she actually died in the house. Just wondering if this means anything to you. A passing of the torch, if you will. We're gonna come and go as we please. Let's see if we can communicate with them now. And I have an SLS. The SLS cam uses a grid of infrared light to recognize human-like objects in front of it, even in complete darkness. Whoa-oh. We got a dancer? Oh, wow, we already got some... This looks like somebody sitting by the wash. Oh, no, 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 it's sitting right by the bedside. Is that so? Whoa, whoa! They're, they're almost doing a backflip. It's just standing on the bed. Kind With of its legs spread, really spread out, spread wide. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, that's definitely that's on nice. the bed. Yep. Okay. Well, well if you, I like if, to if sleep. you two would like to us to leave, if you're trying to no, do no, something no, here. No. I mean, it does look incredibly erotic. Well, whatever they're doing, it looks like they're having a good time. Right. Where's that hand going? That's kind of what I was looking at. Well, now they're. Maybe she's just fuddling Where with her zipper. I don't know. It could also be Mr. Thomas himself. You know how you ever have like your underwear right up your crotch a little bit? He's just he's just adjusting it repeatedly. Surely uh, adjusting. Sure. Or this is Yankee Jim. Is this one of you, Anna or Thomas? Because we are in your bedroom. Could you show us a sign? Could you wave to us? That's kind uh, of actually waving with the right hand. That's kind of fun. <laughs> That's fun. And really moving towards that crotch. <laughs> um, oh, it's kind of kind of hot here. It's I'm actually starting to I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. 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 It's oh, working. Yeah. Imagine them getting it on right now, and they look at the foot of their bed, and just two men. Two just staring at them with cameras. It's getting kind of hot in here. Oh, they just disappeared as soon as I said that. <laughs> oh, they did. It's gone. They didn't like okay. that. They did not like that. And now we move to the final phase of the hunt, our oh, individual yes, investigation Solo Solo. of the entire building. Yay. He looks excited. Yippee. Last time we only chilled in the parlor for five minutes. Yes, we now did. we get the whole building to ourselves. The whole lucky me. You know what's going to be spooky for you is the courtroom. I think the whole house is going to suck balls, but um, that probably might suck a couple more balls than usual. I, they got to put that on the on the plaque of that house. A yeah. little quote from Ryan Bergara: <laughs> "Whole house sucks balls." Ryan Bergara, but Ghost this, Files. But this room sucked a couple more balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna head in there and you know, do my thing, get all up in it. Yeah, take your time, dude. 
introduce the Whaley's to uh, the big guy. You're talking about you. oh, okay. You're talking about you. Yeah. Well, it's just weird that you were like, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna <laughs> no. introduce the Whaley's to the big guy. <laughs> no. Kind of a weird oh, gesture. I wasn't really sure what you were getting no, at. No, 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 no. That's, that's not the big for this guy. series. So this here's how our solo episode. investigations will work. Shane and I will each have 20 minutes of solid alone time in the location. Shane will go first, and at the end of his time, we'll hide a walkie-talkie in a room inside the building. Once Shane returns, he'll reveal to me the walkie-talkie location. Then it's my turn. I'll enter the building, and only after radioing back to Shane with the hidden walkie-talkie will the clock start on my 20 minutes of solo investigation. Let the games begin. Get in there. Whoa, whoa. Goodbye. Hey, you go. <laughs> See you. Okay, Careful, it's an antique. Oh, sorry, that was a little rough. Okay, I'm here in the courtroom. It's kind of tough to walk around with this helmet on, and my body just being the way it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's kind of crazy, like clockwork, how these episodes unfold. I'm going to turn my light out and bask in the darkness. I'm going to joke around, have some good time. Wild to imagine that so many people have also sat in this exact spot and just been bored out of their minds. And then it gets to the end, and, uh, and I'm by myself, and my mind takes over. If there's anyone here, please reach out on my little magical device. Heavy, you're up. Okay. Heavy Not Europe. super inspiring there, heavy, you're up. I'm sure he's in there screaming at things right now. Judge. Judge! Mm -hmm. Judge David, interrupt. Are you mad because I'm interrupting you? Uh, tone? You don't like my tone? Probably screaming at that poor woman inside the, uh, the jury so room. Offended. Hey, he you fucking butthole. <laughs> you know, real juvenile stuff. Me, I'm going to go in there and give a proper investigation. I'm going to go in there, and I'm going to retreat from my own shadow. I'm looking down three doorways right now. That's got to be significant, right? Because thresholds are like portals, right? You just expect to turn the light on and see a ghoul. Let's see. see a scary judge sitting at the bench. <laughs> Nothing. And every time I walk into well, one of these places, I'm works. always thinking, like, like, you know what, this one isn't that... Imagine real life... Well, it probably happens sometimes, just, you know. But, like, imagine if you did... There was, like, certain things you do that made shit just happen. Like, every time you click a flashlight three times, someone's face appears, you know? Like, in the movies. Bad. Maybe I want rules like the... Reality, you can go fuck yourself, you sir. Hey, uh, do you have your radio on? <laughs> Man. Yeah, I had it on the whole time. Oh, I was doing a check and I, you weren't responding, Man so I was just making sure it was on. <laughs> now I know what to tell you. We all hang out on the stairs for a bit. Fun to do. We were hanging out on some stairs earlier this season that had a little devil baby. You guys don't have one of those, right? They like stairs. They like being- Facebook is theater. And I don't know if you know any of uh, the, the famous Hamlet speech, but I'd love for you to do just a, a couple lines of that speech. To the imaginary ghost audience. Can you do that? Uh, yeah, gotcha. To be or not to be? <laughs> that is the question. Whether well, it's a nobler in the mind to suffer the- Arrows of outrageous against a sea of troubles and by opposing um that that that's enough that's that's enough thus conscious doth make cows of us all and the the made of you of resolution is sickly the word of pale cast of thought and enterprises of great peace and moment with this regard the current turn awry and lose the name of He's Andrew. gone. I said a That's couple mad. lines. <laughs> All right. Well, that was an adventure. You started to sound like Fozzie Bear there for a second, and then at the end, you were full John F. Kennedy. That was a, that was a good performance. <coughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, they're, the ghosts are all clapping for me. Can you go to the top of the stairs and sit crisscross applesauce with your back? To the, uh, I'm trying to think of which idea. one would suck more. Back to the stairs or back to the uh, rooms. 
I guess looking down the stairs is kind of creepy. Activity. Though if a ghost the honey pushed me from the front, then I'd fall backwards down the stairs. And I, as a child, I was never good at doing uh, backward somersaults because I had a real big tummy. Okay. A lot of unnecessary information. <laughs> but uh, how about you just do crisscross applesauce looking down the stairs? And then call out the Oh, no, you know, it's pretty ominous here at the top of the stairs. It's a spooky look. Squeeze me, Jim. Jim. Squeeze me, Jim. Come on, Jim. Look at this chest. Squeeze it. Squeeze me, Jim. Is that Shane? Squeeze me, Jim. Come on, Jim. Squeeze me. I can hear the man outside. One last thing. There's a photo of Thomas Whaley. I want you to look at him dead in the eyes and tell him he has to do better. <laughs> Jeez. Well, that looks like him. Hey, Thomas, uh, Ryan says you have to do better in terms of haunting. Uh, and Jim, if you're looking for a good squeeze, Ryan's a great squeeze. This has been an absolute treat. Folks, pleasure to see you again. Thank you for having me, Tommy Whaley. You look like an absolute maniac. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Another burp. Oh, so happy to <laughs> Book see ended burps. Good. It was really nice in there. I got a squeeze Wait, from did Jim. The, what, uh, what did he squeeze? Oh, did he, he squeezed me up and down. He squeezed me like a, a little it. grapefruit. Like a little water weenie? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh, I told him to save his best squeezes for you. Um, <laughs> well, you're going to have fun in there. Let's just get it over with. Echo in there is so cavernous. You know what I realized Scary. is um, for your solo, I didn't give you the key. You were supposed to walk in there with the key. Oh, God, well, uh. I think it would have diluted it if both of us walked around in there with that key. Now you got it, and uh, they can all clown on to you. It'll be like that scene in Incredibles where he gets hit activity. by all those goo balls, except it'll be ghosts. <laughs> Remember that? Close the fucking door. Close the door. Good, good lad. Shit. Where's he even going? The walkie. I don't Find even know where the walkie. walkie is. It's a mystery. This sucks ass. This sucks so much ass. This sucks ass. This sucks so much ass. It's been a fun night. Really cool building. Great to be back. Uh, there's Black Widow over there. That's cool. Don't see those very often. Oh, uh, hey. hell no. We pack it up if we see one of those. <laughs> you don't even need to see the ghost. That's scary Where is this enough. walkie? I hid the walkie behind uh, the little doll. I thought it'd be fun to put it behind the doll because then I can speak through the... Ah. Let's do it right now so we can find it right away. There it is. Behind a doll. Come and find me, Ryan. <laughs> Again. I'm just a little baby girl. What the hell? Where the fuck is this one? Oh my god. I can't believe you hid it in this room, you little dick. It took me forever to find this thing. All right, I'm starting my clock right now. I can't believe you put it in the portal. Here we go. Oh. I would have been yeah, too we're having a good time. Crew's very bored and tired. They're all looking like at their phones. Uh, so, things. yeah, it's really good. <laughs> we're ready to go. This sucks so much balls, dude. I'm gonna turn the spirit box on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I did it the other way, too. What a dick. <laughs> it goes both ways. So uncool. Jesus Christ, all the family photos around here is just fucking awful. Cool to have a court in your uh, house too, to see people uh, be tried for their crimes. You wake up, have an English muffin, watch someone get sentenced to death. Cool. All right, I'm in the vortex. Why are you in this room? What did you do to be in this courtroom? Help. Help. I'm gonna turn this off. Gonna give you some silence. I'm gonna turn off my light. This is 
looking at that dimly candlelit doorway. Just waiting for something to walk past it. Oh, this sucks so much ass. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. I am a little more lenient on the things that we hear and see. When it's alone time, I can, I can <laughs> level with you guys. And none of the evidence was convincing or uh, compelling. Uh, it's all baloney. Um, it's been a fun season of walking around buildings. None of these places are haunted. Ghosts aren't real. Okay. All right. Let's try it in here. What about the knockdown? Yankee Jim, you course. might remember me. That was real. <laughs> My name is Ryan. Can you say Ryan back to me or any of the Whaley family if you want to talk? Have a little chat. You know? Yo, you want to be, I want to be what? Dead? Did you say dead? No? Just going to do some laps around this parlor right now. Just doing some walk arounds. If anybody would like to make contact, please don't do so. <laughs> I did not want to see anybody or talk to anybody right now. That time has passed, frankly. I, 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 we had a lot of chances. There was a whole film crew here before. No reason to wait till now. Do know that if you do come out now, yeah, now uh, I will be no forced sense. to fight you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do it? But that's just how I feel. Do it I'm gonna take that candlestick and shove it up your ghostly uh, anus. Lit, mind you. I'm gonna light the candle Lit. and then stick the waxy Jesus. apparatus right up your uh, boo bung hole. When we visit locations we've been to before, you know, there's a certain boost of confidence knowing that it's uh, territory we've covered. So that's, he's got a little bit of an edge. Here we go. Coming upstairs. Whee! <laughs> Coming upstairs. Are you ready? He got married like two weeks ago. Who are they screaming at? These I am telling you right now, straight screaming at do ghosts. not make contact with me Actually. or I will <laughs> be forced to kill you. Oh. That's the voice of somebody who's punch. already dead. Oh shit. I hear some rustling. I don't like that. Remember. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! I just heard hi! Who is that? Oh my god! Oh. Hello? Please don't show yourself! Do not show yourself! Oh, why not? No, now, now's the time. Oh god, was that just you, Shane? <laughs> Thank god. Is it Shane? Oh, oh, oh man. fucking Christ, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Bullshit! No, fuck you, bullshit! It wasn't him. He's fucking lying. There's no way that wasn't him. It was too clear. It was not me earlier. You don't think I know your tricks? I'm honestly telling you right now, the whole crew is out here. I, they can attest to this. When you thought you heard someone say hi, I did not say hi to you. I just did it the second time. Oh shit, are you fucking serious? Are you not kidding? So it's a different high. Oh! 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 Whoa! Okay, well that sucks balls. I don't like that. that Look guys, weird. I told you. I don't know, that one... That one wasn't as clear as like the rest of the voices he's heard today. Man's been hearing a lot of voices. Oh! Whoa! Okay, well that sucks balls. I don't like that. Look guys, yeah, I told you. Those. We have five minutes left here. All we had to do was no one make contact with anybody and we could all get out of this scot-free. And now, I have to be crazy the rest of this investigation or I'm not gonna make it out. Uh, head upstairs to the theater uh, and stand at the very back of the theater and face the wall for a minute in the dark. And while you're doing that on the whole way up, uh, ask Violet to talk to you. All right, Violet, you could talk to me now, but really don't. Don't say, but really don't. All right, Violet, you could talk to me now, but actually, I would like you not to. 
Remember our plan. Those men's Do not talk to me. Skipping our footage. Alright, I'm at the back of the theater. Turning the lights off. Here we go. He's telling him not to do things. Stare at the wall and we ask the ghost to, to kill all. you. Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, ghost, you can kill me now. I'm at the back <laughs> of the theater. He genuinely still gets pretty pretty rattled. There's a there's a uh, real fear in his eyes that I think is not uh, phony. Psyching yourself up. Alright, that's funny. Uh, for your last uh, minute or two, uh, just head over to Violet's room. Turn off all your lights and stand in the middle of the room without saying anything for the rest of your time. Fine. Lights coming off. He talks to himself too much, so I like to make him shut up. I'm out of here, folks. See you later. You had your chance, but you blew it. And guess what? Oh, Daddy's going home now. <laughs> <sighs> well, you made it. Another, oh, another day you live to tell your tale here. Oh, incredible. What did you hear out there? You promised it wasn't you. I pinky swear. You heard, what did you hear, a little? Hi. Yeah, yeah cool. exactly that. I was in the middle I didn't even of saying do that. Uh, that I was gonna, if anyone talks to me, I'd be forced to shovel candlestick up their ass. No, it was around the time that I, um, I, I tried to, because I heard you in that room and I tried to push on the door to rattle it, but it didn't even make a noise, so. Yeah, but. I just, uh, I was, uh, I had to get crazy there so nothing would interact with me. Yeah, I know, that's your defense mechanism. Get out of here. Let's, uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's go get a San Diego burrito. I'm down with that. Burrito. See you later, Whaley House. Bye. <laughs> oh, a house serving as a shrine to the past while also playing a part in ours has now shifted to the present. Was there something moving in the dark upstairs? Did we hear voices in the courtroom? Did I hear somebody whisper hi by the stairs? Our job as investigators is to collect and present questions possibilities. Interpretation, however, solely belongs with you. But for our part, the Whaley House can now be locked away in the Ghost Files.